In last week's video, I shared some TV interview tips, how to prepare for a TV interview, what I call the pre-interview phase. Today in TV interview tips part two, I'll talk about what needs to be done the day before the interview. Your interview will be better remembered if you have what I call a quotable quote, something pithy, easily remembered, easily tweetable, something that will give your interview a second life on social media. One I remember from Milton Friedman that was quickly repeated. If you put the federal government in charge of the Sahara Desert, in five years there'll be a shortage of sand. Make sure you check the daily newspapers the day before and the day of your interview. Look for something in the news that is relevant to your topic. It's what we call a news hook. For example, if you're talking about railroad safety, you might say that had your proposal been the law of the land yesterday, we'd not be reading about the tragic death of innocent children today. If you can't find a news hook, look for a fresh hook on how your message, your book, your program, your policy would improve the health, happiness, or wealth of the listening audience or a particular demographic group in the station's listening audience. The day before the interview, pick the clothes you will wear so that you don't have to worry about broken buttons or a soiled blouse the day of the interview. Do not wear clothes with complicated patterns or garish colors. TV doesn't like them. White shirt, white blouse, okay, but don't even think about wearing a white jacket. Do not wear expensive watches or gaudy jewelry. Audiences do not like displays of wealth. Arrive early for your interview and allow plenty of time for makeup. Watch your attitude with the TV staff. It may be your only interview of the day, but to the TV staff, you may be one of 80 people that are moving on and off the set that day. If you act like a prima donna, you'll not be invited back. Finally, there's some things to remember before the interview begins. One. The interviewer may or may not be prepared, may or may not have read your bio, may or may not have looked at your website, may or may not have glanced at your book, or be familiar with your policy position. It may fall to you to highlight the important elements of the aforementioned for the audience. Two, you have 15 seconds after the interview begins to convince the audience you are more important than going to the bathroom. If you waste the first 30 seconds on irrelevant chatter, you will have already lost part of your audience. Three, you are not required to give a long answer to every question. It is your job to stay on topic and get back on topic even if you're asked an off-topic question. Four, if you're greeted with a hostile question, keep your cool and smile. Do not raise your voice. Never, never, never lose your temper on TV. Next time I'll have some TV interview tips on body language, how to sit, where to put your hands, how to look confident, and some TV interview tips on how you can stay on message even if the interviewer goes off topic. Have some questions about TV interview tips? Hit the comment button. Ask me a question, I'll send you an answer. Subscribe to my YouTube page for more on the art of running for office and how to win an election. Be sure to visit jtownsend.com to get your copy of my free book, the 10 Worst Mistakes Candidates Make. I'm Jay Townsend.